Do not sit here in front of a microphone and compare owning a slave to me, you white that's fucking bitch! You have no idea to sit here and say this shit to me! Ma'am, that's- What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we have a new video on our list, and it's going to be impressive. I can't wait to share this with you guys. It's going to be about Christine Hawkins versus the angriest food choice ever. It's going to be intense, and I would love to check this out with you guys. So, let's get right into it. It's disgusting! And you should be damn ashamed of yourself. And I don't believe that. And I'm not going to fight until people like you do not have a place to come on here on my campus that I paid a school to go to and spew your fucking lie. I have a personal question for you. Mm -hmm. Are your beliefs about um, abortion and life and conception that, does that have anything to do with your personal religious beliefs? Your belief that life is a conception that is not shared by mm -hmm. a lot of people. It's not shared by me. It's not shared by any of my friends. So I'm asking you, why should your moral belief be the end all be all and make the law and take away the right to a seen, a clean, safe abortion for women to have? And the fact that you can sit here and say that the rapist baby, the seed or whatever you want to call it, the baby that's still in your belly and that it's not born yet, that you should be forced to have that. It's disgusting. And the fact that you can come over here and have an entire career based off of this, and I'm not done speaking. And then you can sit here in front of my friend who was a victim of rape and say that she should have that baby. It's disgusting. And you should be damn ashamed of yourself. And I don't believe that. And I'm not going to fight until people like you do not have a place to come on here on my campus that I paid a school to go to and spew your fucking lies. Well, I believe in the First Amendment. Do you believe in the First Amendment? Do you? Do you believe in the first man? I've allowed you to sit here and scream at me for an hour and a half and I'm and saying I don't believe that you should have the right to take away my access to a clean, safe abortion as a human right. I have the right to have the autonomy over my own body. You have the right to your autonomy over your own body. We both get knocked up, have sex, both of us pregnant. You wanna abort it? She's really you don't angry. wanna abort it? Your decision. Mm -hmm. If I wanna abort it, I'm gonna fucking do that. Okay. So who are you to sit here yeah, and Yeah, so tell I don't want to own a slave, that, that. but you want to own a slave. Am I supposed to just sit around and say that? Do not okay? sit here in front of a microphone and compare owning a slave to me, you white that's fucking bitch. You have no idea to sit here and say this shit to me. Ma'am, that is the argument you just made. No, it's not. No, it is not. That is your incorrect interpretation. That is a logical fallacy. That you is you the think argument. you can sit here and go ring around the rosy with the me? Argument. Are you done with your question? Because you asked me like You questions. haven't answered anything. You've actually you just made a statement and completely anything. deterred my argument right, in a completely different down, way. Oh, do you think that you can own a slave? If I want to own a slave, can I own a slave? How can you sit here with a straight face and say that to me? Aren't you, how can how you, is you yeah. not embarrassed okay, of yourself? Okay, can you let me answer your question? How can you sit here and deny biology? This how can you sit here and deny biology? I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you want me to answer your questions? If you will sit down, I will answer your questions. I want, no, I'm going to stand right here and I okay, want you well, to you tell me how you think it's so okay to compare questions. owning a slave to having an abortion. Yes. And yes. it's not even in the same ballpark. Yes. Because black people were not seen as people in this country. Yes, they were just like what you've done time and time again tonight to an unborn child. You have argued. Unborn you child, are, not living. You all, black people already existed. They were born. Unborn they were children are like living, literally born into slavery. Would you like me to answer your questions? I can't answer if you keep screaming at me. Do you want me to answer your questions? I'm waiting. Are you going to stop? Are talking? you going to answer my question? Yes. Or are you going to sit here and look stupid? I'm quiet right now. I'm quiet. This is why we have the First Amendment, so they can Am do I this. speaking? So, no. When we talk about abortion, we talk about the living human being that's present inside of a mother's womb. Biology t confirms this fact. This is not a religious belief that I hold. This is a scientific fact. The law of biogenesis says like begets like. We know the definition of life, and we know what's inside of a mother is living because that, ch that child is growing. You can call the child a fetus, a clump of cells, whatever, but the fact is that entity, which is a member of our human species, because I, two humans, can't reproduce anything other besides a human, is in fact alive. The arguments that you're making to support your extremist beliefs to justify It's not extremist. Is it's that basic the human child right that you're trying to take away from doesn't have me. value. The argument you're trying to and failing to make in the argument that you, you really don't get to sit here and tell me what my on. argument is. If you want to answer my question, then answer my question. Ma'am, you said you'd be quiet. Answer the, the question. The argument you're failing to make and what you argument you should be making is that you believe that the human inside of the womb has less value than a woman. 
and that certain people get yes, to decide. Yes, it does, because it's her exactly. body, her choice. Exactly. Her body, exactly. Her act. body, her choice. Yeah, that is your argument. Sorry, it is not that it's not a human being or that's, that's living, because that's flat out denying biology. We know it's living, and we know it's a human being. What else What would it you're be? arguing is that, that that child doesn't have the same right to life as his or her mother. Because you have decided, and what you said during your comments, mm -hmm. was that if I got pregnant and chose not to have an abortion, I can do that. But you can choose to have abortion. Because mm -hmm. the mother gets to decide the value of that person. The mother, that is exactly, the mother's child. That's damn, exactly what you're I'm not, saying. Let me answer your question. That's exactly what Shut happened. Up. That's exactly what happened in pre-Civil War America. You can choose to assign value to black Americans depending on what you felt like. You could say, oh, wow. I am against slavery because I know wow. these people are human beings that have value and no one has the right to own another human person. But if I was a plantation owner in the South, There's I could no say, yeah, they have some life. value, but they don't people have like full value because I like deem it. It's a Twitter. slippery slope. <laughs> And that is not, by the way, that is not a religious belief. This is a scientific belief that this is a human being. Where we can differ on our belief is the value I we assign. No, there's other people behind you. The I have value that you assign to ask, and beings. she said I could ask. That is the actual leave. debatable question here today. No, is what it's is not. the value we assign to human beings in the womb? Does a human being in the womb have the same oh value, Are you gonna stop the going same going right to around life around around as other people, yourself? or do they not? That is the true pro-abortion argument. And if you would have taken an hour to research, you could have come and made. But you failed can to I do ask that my question you deny now? biology. Can Next I ask my person. question No, now? you can get behind the line. Back the you line. can sit here and you can like, get try the back and create the line. She's been waiting an idea that you have of what we believe in and push it back in my face, but it's not going to work. Your you little get the back logical line. fallacy ring around the rosy will not work on us. You disgust me. And if right, biology... She's been waiting to speak, ma'am. You're, you're not allowing other women to speak. Suck it. Okay, this wasn't his. According to the lady, the right question you should ask is, does the child in the womb have the same value with the mother carrying the baby? It's the same as that. Do they have the same value? Do they have the same rights? That is a right question you should ask, not shouting. <laughs> I respect Hawkins. How patient it is beautiful. Because when someone is shouting, when someone is fully angry, and you are calm, I respect those people. Hawkins was calm, coordinated, and answered appropriately. She schooled the girl, educated her in a way she had never been educated before. Because such attitude from Hawkins, being calm, relaxed, when the lady was using a B word, and also the F word. She called her fucking bitch. Like, that is intense. And Hawkins was not, was not, acquit she was not pissed. She was cool, coordinated, and calm. How did she do that? Because I would have been mad at that lady right there. I respect Hawkins for that. Like, I love her patience. I love her calmness. That student, she's, I get her points. But she's not, ask, she's not asking the right question and she does not have a bright manner while doing it. She was not coordinated. She's very rude. Her anger, I understand her anger, but it is not justified. You can't justify your friend being raped so killing a baby in the womb. And I call it fistus, and I call it unborn baby, and they call it embryo. Any time you call in the baby in the womb of the mother, that is your business. That is a life growing right in the mother. It is not a religious belief. If it was a religious, if it was a religious belief, okay, we'll all counter it. A lot of people want to counter it, like, okay, it's, it's your religion. But this is biology. This is fact. We are talking facts right here. This is how the world works. This is this is biology right there. And you are still denying the fact. I'm sorry your friend was raped. But that doesn't justify 
anything. It does not justify you killing an unborn baby. It does not justify it. So, I respect Hawkins. Like, I really do respect this woman. Christine Hawkins. I love her patient. I love how coordinated she was. I, w I want to mimic someone like that. Hawkins is beautiful. She answered the game appropriately without using any abusive word towards the lady. She knows the lady is a student and she tried to defend her friend, but that does not give her a right to use such words towards Hawkins. It's, I respect Hawkins. Like, <laughs> I just want to see Hawkins live and shake her and say, I respect you, man. <laughs> because her patience and coordination, it is mind blowing to me. I am impressed by that, guys. Comment down below what you think about this video. Um, abortion, it's, it's, it's really serious. You're taking the life of another person, whether you accept it or not. Did that child in the womb have the same value as the mother carrying the baby? Yes. Did the child in the womb have the right to come out alive? Yes. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all